This is Joachim Comic Center, and uh, with me I have Talk Comics with me to talk and discuss some graphic novels with you guys. Oh yeah. Yes. So, do you want to introduce you and your channel? Sure. Um, my name's Ellie, and I run a channel called Tool Comics. Uh, I've been doing it for a few years. Um, I, I, there's loads of great interviews there with some uh, famous people you can go and watch, or you can just go and watch some reviews and news I did some time back. But uh, I've been away. I've been uh, I've been away for a little while. Uh, uh, one of the reasons is I've written a comic book called Squatters. Um, and another reason is I had children, <laughs> so that took me that took me away, uh, and my job took me away a little bit from. Uh, but I'm here now, isn't that, that? That's the most important thing. That's the most important thing. Yeah. And with us, we have taken with us uh, five graphic novels each. You a little more because you would like to do an update on your latest purchases. Yes. Yeah. I uh, I'm doing a little a quick haul. Shall I pop that out now? Yeah, we can start with that. Yeah, a quick a quick haul. So um. I got um, 1602 in hardcover. I um, I did have it originally in um, I did have it originally in uh, trade, but uh, it, you know what I'm like with hardcovers. If you've seen if you see my collection, you'll understand. Yes, of uh, course. And if and if you people who are recognize my uh, whole videos and everything, you know I pretty much I'll buy the trade if it's hard to achieve in hardcover, but otherwise hardcover it is. Yeah, we, me and you are very much similar in that we we, we are a bit of a hardcover uh, fiend when it comes to our collections. We if we can find it in hardcover, then we'll try and get it in hardcover, won't we? Yeah, and, and I don't even want to imagine the money I would save buying trades instead. Buying trades, right? Yeah. Um, actually, I actually prefer to read it in trade. It just doesn't sit on the shelf so well. Exactly, and it wears off a lot faster. In, and and uh, but the hardcovers for 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 the long term collector. Yeah, it's for the long-term collector, for sure. Yeah, I agree. So that was that. Um, let's just put that back. Then I've got these three. Do you know what they are? Uh, Justice by uh, Alex Ross, of course. And yeah, that's right. Just uh, Kruger. And got Jim, Jim Kruger. Jim, Jim Kruger. And, and, a good, and a friend of mine called Doug Braithwaite, who I've seen many times at cons, is a, is a British guy. Dougie, uh, he does great work, um, and he pro I think he probably did the colouring, I'm guessing, on this. Um, oh, nice. So, yeah, really nice. If not, pro at least his pencils are amazing, and they've got a very similar style, so if him and Alex Ross were together, you you would see the match that they make. Yeah, I, need to, I need to make an uh, update on that book. I think there's a hardcover out that collects the whole thing, actually, in one. Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, and I, 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 my, my friend, I just gave him back, he lent me the book originally, and he's got the hardcover that's just got all one, um, but it's not as nice. Um, it's the Glad same stuff. Or the absolute. The, yeah, uh, there's or, or the absolute, yeah. Um, but there's a hardcover that encases all three of those. But these are very nice with the silver finish, and they're just a bit nicer than the all-in-one hardcover which you can buy. Well, what you got there is the first print. That's a first print, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, I, as I said, stated on my. On my video, I had a place ready for it. If you watched my update, you'll know that I was trying to get hold of the last omnibus of the Ed Brubaker run on Captain America, and it finally came through. Uh, it came a little bit later in the UK than everyone in America, so we were running a bit late on that. Um, that down there, uh, the second in the Infinite in the uh, Thanos saga, which I've read, we can talk about that. Um, interesting book, um, and it's the second one, and um, that's. Pretty good. Weird. No, no. Uh, I don't know if you know, but there's no, there's no uh, cover on these. There's no. Yeah, I know. I have uh, three of the uh, Marvel original graphic novels from that line, and I have. Uh, let's see. The first one was obviously Amazing Spider-Man: Family Business. Yeah. And the second one was uh, Avengers: Endless Wartime, and the third one, one of the later ones that was released. Yeah. This spring, uh, The Rage of Ultron. Yeah, Rage of Ultron. I also have that same uh, hardcover by uh, who did that. That was Remender, wasn't it? Um, and um, and they're, they're, it's this new like OGN series by Marvel. This original graphic novel series that they've got all coming out now, which are like weird, weird books. Really, they're just it's good potential. Though you can do whatever you like with them. Yeah, yeah. They're they're out of the main runs, and they just they sit aside. I don't know, what do you think of them? Uh, let's see. Story-wise, I love the 
the Spider-Man one. Yeah, Mark uh, Wade wrote that. It was amazing. Yeah, it was very, very good. For people who don't know the family business storyline, it's about Peter Parker's long-lost sister. Mm. So uh, Mary and Richard Parker did have a daughter as well. So it's Peter's little sister. Yeah. And this great mystery uh, with uh, Kingpin and this Nazi treasure that he tries to get a hold of. Yeah. So, and th that plotline it takes you all over the world, uh, along with this mystery of uh, w where has Peter Parker's sister been and everything. And it uncovers more history of his parents and everything. This would make a great movie. You could tell why they kept it as a side story, because I don't think they wanted his sister in the main run. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I know. The ending for the book is perfect all, also, because it left you questioning everything. Everything, yeah. It was very smart. Um, I would say, actually, that, that Mark, it's a shame that Mark Wade didn't have the flexibility to do that when he was writing with Dan Slott back in the day. And um, actually, this is a much stronger um, run than his old run that he did with Slott um, after Brand New Day. So, um, the last few books, just very quickly, um, this one, which you might recognize, is the smallest Marvel omnibus. It oh, is, <laughs> it's the Young Avengers book by Kieran Gillen. Um, I didn't get it because, originally, because, why didn't I get it originally? I suppose because I'm not a massive Kieran Gillen fan, although he has written some good stuff. Um, and then it was £16 on Amazon, and I was like, £16? I mean, really? 16 quid? Cheap, no? Yeah. It's like $22. -ish. Oh. That's a no-brainer. Yeah. So I got that. And the last two are these runaway books. Hardcover runaway books. Nice. Um, yeah, they're out of print. They're written by... Uh, do you know who they're written by? Brian K. That's right. They're written by Brian K. So you're passing all my tests, you know. You're passing all of them. Um, <laughs> they're, they're written by Brian K. Vaughan. And... Um, there are we we brian k Vaughan's obviously famous now for uh why the last man and ex machina and um and so um oh. yeah. and saga of course yeah and so how could i have forgotten saga actually i'm not a massive saga fan that's probably why i forgot oh. saga. here comes the dislikes no but <laughs> yeah like dig, 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 get him off get him off uh, but no i i'm not a massive saga fan i'm afraid uh, i still got i still got the oversized park of saga you can see it in the collection signed but, uh, but I'm you can not... appreciate it for what it is. What, say that again, I missed that. Sorry. You can you can appreciate it for what it is. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. Uh, and I love Brian K. Vaughan's writing. He, you, you can't deny the quality of, of his writing as well. So, Yes. 